Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sam, aka hashtag the Herong Becky. And guys, thank you so much to all my new subscribers and to all my returning viewers. So wherever you are, whether you are in the Philippines, in Asia, Europe, uh, America, wherever you are in the world, please stay tuned and allow to finish this video because it's very interesting, okay? So just sit back and relax while watching my vlog for today. Okay, so for today guys, our topic topic is very interesting because you know when I'm scanning in the social on the social media, so there is like a conf comparison between uh, MGI or Miss Grand International versus Miss Earth, no? Because out of stupidity. I don't know where is the uh, audacity of this pageantry which is not considered as you know only a minor pageant com comparing itself to a major pageant which is Miss Earth I don't know where is the audacity is, is getting from you know so let me educate you guys and let me share my thoughts my ideas the difference between the two no so everybody will be um, will we'll understand everything okay so let's go straight forward to our point no so it's up for it, it's up to you take it or leave it as the saying goes so first let's talk about uh, miss grand international so um the slogan is stop war and violence but no what is the owner himself is doing mm. these are the things that i actually observed first the owner mr nawat is a bully how many candidates did he bully so that's the first thing now after winning where the candidates go did they fulfill their advocacy and or simply selling products online let's be honest here okay so the owner as well is very unprofessional okay they're known as or only good at show no giving us a fabulous show during the finals the lightning the stage and overacting movement of the girls as if they are in the carnival i'm sorry you know i'm i i told you guys you know this channel of mine is transparent honest and straightforward so those are the things so let me reiterate mgi the owner is bully because we've witnessed him bullying shaming contestant after winning where where do the girls where did the girls go selling products online unprofessional why because you know he is using his social media platform to discredit the personality the attitude of the girls during the pageant which is not supposed to be done okay so those are the major things that are, it really caught my attention on this pageant miss grand international now let's move on to miss earth of course not because i am a filipino but as a pageant analyst here for one year i've been observing pageantries so don't get me wrong so miss earth is oh, the first Miss Earth is a decent pageant. When we say decent, professional, not shaming, contradictory with MGI or Miss Grand, Miss Earth is a professional pageantry. Next, that's why it's included in as one of the alpha pageants or big four pageant because the totality of the pageantry itself. Next is Miss Earth is supported by huge organization such as the United Nations. Okay, take note. 
Next candidates are traveling right after winning. The winner and the elemental, elemental queens, they're actually traveling across the globe to fulfill their advocacy. They're not just sit, sitting around or selling something. No? And last but not least, the owner is working hand in hand with valuable people in the world. So meaning to say, the owner herself, Lorraine Shock, is <clears throat> very professional when it comes to different stakeholders to, to her candidates and to different organizations. Because the major the major concern of Miss Earth it's it deals with the uh, environment conservation and preservation of the mother earth not just to us but for the next generation so now mgi you have the nerve to compare yourself with miss earth you have the audacity to compare your pageantry with miss earth miss earth is miss earth that's why i've been telling you it takes 20 years to build your integrity, but it only takes five min minutes to destroy it, no? So, MGI, don't claim that you are, that your pageant is top-notch, because it's not. If you really want Mr. Nawat to level up your pageantry, you know, to be recognized in the, in the world as, you know, as a top-notch pageant, then you have to do something. You have to be true, you have to be honest to your advocacy. Stop war and violence. Might as well go to Israel, go, go to Palestine, go to Russia, go to Ukraine and the winners and, you know, have some talk with different organizations. Okay, so that it is, it is very clear that your pageant, you know, fulfilling your advocacy. And not just taking, you know, uh, just just like publicity, no, and for business intended purposes, no, because that would that's that's what I've noticed, and that's what I I've, I've observed. So I tell you, if you really want to improve your pageantry, do something. <clears throat> and I don't know why, not many, but few people trying to uplift. Miss Grand International as a top-notch pageant, where did they get that information? I mean, what are the things that you should be considering as a top-notch pageant? What is the essence of your pageant? Right? So, those are the things that you really need to, to, to work. No? If you want your pageantry to be recognized, no? in the future but it takes a long way before you you get there and as early as now for how many years running your pageantry and there are so many you know anomalies don't dictate us no we filipinos we are very much you know particular in terms of this because we know what is the purpose of that pageant no um, we don't support pageantry which is not true to their advocacy and after all, after the pageant, the candidates are just simply, you know, promoting some products just like what you are doing. So stop, stop, you know, stop comparing your pageant with Miss Earth because Miss Earth <laughs> it's a huge pageant and it's being supported by huge organization in the world. In fact, you have to learn something from Miss Earth, no? You have to learn something from Miss Earth to improve your pageantry. You know, I am very concerned for you now what? I am, I am not here to, to put your, or to bring down your, to drag down your pageantry, but I really want you to understand your kind of mentality no because pageant is not meant to deceive people no pageant is not meant to to instead you are the one um creating war no with 
candidates with <clears throat> people in the world. Instead, gathering people and to support your organization. But what happened? So, I'm very particular about this and I really need to voice this out. So, if in case this video will come across your way, somehow it would enlighten you. No? Because that's our purpose. Why? Why there is a pageantry? Because we want to look up those, we want to use that platform, something beneficial to our community and not instead for it to distract, no? So that is the primary concern of the pageantry. So it has something to do with our community. It has something to do with humanity. Whatever your advocacy is, you have to fulfill. So stop comparing Miss Grand International with Miss Earth because Miss Earth is true to its advocacy. It never fails us. Every year, they're actually doing something, no? To help uh, protect, promote, conserve, and preserve the Mother Earth. And that is very essential for us humanity as a whole so that's all for now guys i hope uh, i was able to present my message to all of you and uh don't be upset what i am talking here i am i am just being honest so take it or leave it it's up to you so that's all for now guys thank you so much have a wonderful day bye for now ciao